you guys welcome back to my channel this is jasmine katrina and today i'm bringing you a new new series called 20 minutes or less so this series is going to walk you through different makeup looks that i do literally in less than t in 20 minutes like at the time of this video it's 20 minutes so hope you like it and if you want to see how this look comes together then keep watching okay friends let's get started i hope you all like the new setup if you guys watched my reset vlog i did rearrange my space so i created a more succinct filming area which is kind of cool but anyway let's get into it for the most part i can create this look that i'm going to show you guys today in 15 minutes or less first things first you want to make sure your skincare is already done you already know i typically come already pre-prepped so we're going to go in with the milk hydro grip primer today so we're gonna go in with the Precision Brow My Brow Pencil. I haven't used this actually in a while. This is the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop Concealer. This is in warm caramel. And use a nice clean base. Should I do eyes first? We're gonna go in with the Minta Cosmetics Foundation Stick. This is in the shade D20. And that's what that looks like. It's literally a perfect shade match. And taking a foundation brush, just gonna blend it out. All right, so for concealer, for the under, I'm gonna take the e.l.f. Brightening Concealer. I'm in shade, what shade is this? Deep 50W. I'm taking my sponge, I'm gonna blend it out. Perfect, now this step you can add setting powder. I'm not gonna add setting powder for the sake of, I'm not wearing this all day. At the time of me filming this video, it is later in the afternoon. So I'm gonna end up washing this off in a couple of hours. But if you wanted to do that, say you're gonna do this in the morning before you get ready to go to work, then you would do it um, and you would add setting powder. But for the sake of the video for today, just know setting powder is a step that I would normally add. But because of the time I'm gonna be filming this, I'm not gonna add it today, but that's okay. So this is the Re Revolution Pro Conceal and Define, Conceal and Define Foundation in f18 which is their i think their darkest shade but we're gonna actually use this as a bronzer brush we're gonna just blend it out you could do a sponge but i'm gonna do a brush i feel like i can get a little bit of better precision when i do go around the forehead just to warm that back up and you can kind of tell the difference and same on this side and we're just gonna beef it up Okay, now taking my blush brush, I'm gonna do the Beauty Bakery by size blush in Hey Pumpkin. It's an orange one I've used before. I love this. It's so pretty. Honestly, it's great for the spring and summer season. Like, get into it. Let's dive right in to these eyes. I picked up a new palette from Revolution Pro, this is their Max Reloaded Palette. This is what this looks like. It's beautiful, like, what? So this is gonna be fun, but because I wanna do a yellow look, I feel like I haven't done yellow in a long time, I'm gonna go in with a really nice neutral brown. So let's find a shade, just a little, there we go. And we're just gonna pack it right in as close to the brow bone, like that. And what I love about their palettes is that they're so pigmented, like, oh my gosh, they're so pigmented. And you want a nice brown neutral shade because of the yellow. So we're gonna close this, oops, sorry. And then we're gonna pull out the James Charles by Morphe Palette um, Collab Palette. They have a yellow in here. This one, that is going to be perfect. So taking a flat brush, 
something like this layer this yellow and just i'm going to kind of smear that first see how it fell out it's okay we're going to clean that up but i just wanted to smear it on and then pat and tap it in go right below that lid well i can't talk go right below where that brown is And I'm actually want a little bit of some shimmer. So we're gonna go in with the gold and go right in that inner eye. Oh, that's pretty. Okay. So in real time, we're at 13 minutes. So I am a little... Now remember, I spilled a little bit of that, of that brush inside that color. So we're gonna just, I'm just gonna seal it to clean that up. I'm trying to think of what. Do I want lashes? Yeah, I do. Not it giving me more light. Oh my God, I should have done that a long time ago. Okay, so really the only step we have left are lips. You guys probably already know, Jewelry Place. I promise you I picked up more lip liners. I just don't know what they are. We're doing yellow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I want mauve, okay. Okay, and then we're gonna, this is the Jason Wu Danish. Okay, so maybe this series is gonna be 20 minutes or less because right now at the time clock is 18.03. I did my full face in less than 20 minutes. So if I can do it, you can do it. The last step that you would want to do is setting spray. But again, for the sake of the video, because it is later in the day when I'm filming this, I'm not going to do setting spray because I don't want it to hold. I'm going to wash it off in a couple hours. But this is the final look, you guys. I am pleased with myself. So what do we think? What do we think? Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video and hopefully you like this series. I just wanted to bring something fun and different to you all. And I know that I have a lot of people who follow me that aren't into makeup as much as I am. So for you that, for you wanting to get into makeup, this is probably a lot and, and this is more than enough. But everything I, I use is affordable and it's in your local drugstore in Ulta. So I will make sure I name everything in the description um shades and everything but thank you guys so much for watching i hope you liked it make sure you leave a comment let's talk about it down below and until next time friends be well do well and be safe bye